Well, hey everybody, hi everybody, this is Pastor Matt here and I'm just talking to our college kids, our 17 and 24 year olds, college and career, and uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about Pinocchio. And many of you remember the story of Pinocchio as a kid and, you know, he kind of started telling lies and his nose grew. But if you read the whole story, you found out that he, he ran away from Geppetto and the cat and, uh, ended up in an area, uh, I don't know what exactly, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but where there's a bunch of boys there and they could do whatever they want whenever they wanted. And they could, you know, play games, they could eat candy, and it was just all day, every day, only what they wanted, no work, no responsibility. And at the end of the day, Pinocchio turned into a donkey. And uh, then the rest of the story goes on, he eventually gets saved, to not hopefully not turned into firewood, but but bottom line is that, that we learned that as kids. Now, fast forward several years, and here you are today, and you're in college now, you're, you're, you're back in school, and you've had a free, few weeks of, of freedom from your parents. And that's a wonderful thing. You're discovering what you're made of. Hopefully you're finding out you can do this. But the other thing I want to talk to you about is too much freedom without corresponding responsibility will turn you into a donkey. And I want to challenge you just real quick with all the different freedoms that are in your life right now. You have freedoms with your phone to look at whatever you want to look at. You have freedoms with your time. And I remember being back in college, there were times I should have been studying. I was playing euchre until 2 in the morning. And, you know, we have to be diligent with our time, diligent with our responsibility, diligent with our faith, diligent with what we say no to and what we say yes to. And so I just want to give that message to you today and remind you that you do have a lot of freedom. You have a lot of independence now that you didn't used to have. But as you have that freedom and independence, use it in a way that's constructive, not destructive. Because we don't need any more jackasses running around in the body of Christ. I love you. I'm going to pray for you and I'll see you next week. Father, bless these young people. Help them. Thank God they're free. Thank God they're independent. Thank God they're growing up. And even for my own kids, thank God for what you've done in their life. But Lord, help them to use their freedom in a way that produces life and not bondage. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week.